gases, and we'll see what he can do. He can tech, you know, so, four gas is almost limitless gas, like, there's so much you can do off of four gas, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to even find the action here. A lurker going down in the middle of the field. I'm like trying to look at the mini map. Where is their action going down? I don't even know what that neutral map thing is. Uh, two Zerglings just not doing very much. Uh, Zerglings picking off things one by one, hit by hit, uh, aren't going to do anything until someone st decides to start noticing them. And so it looks like... It looks like, with a vengeance, Semi's coming back to finish this base off again. And there's only Lings to defend it. <coughs> Lings melt to Archon. Um, I, and I think that was cancelled. I think that, that, like, uh, wound in the ground is from the last hatchet go out. I think he, he managed to cancel that. So, saving a lot of minerals versus if he had, uh, let that go up. But, uh, he's got this huge force. Not getting anything there. If he built a brought a probe around, he could create a second entrance. Uh, that, that's a really good thing to do, and I think uh, especially foreigners in their games uh, could do that a lot more. Building instead of a pylon wall, a cannon wall, you know, which is a much more efficient at blocking stuff off because it kills stuff trying to attack. There's a scan dude. Um, what's going on here? Lots of lurkers being more. Uh, we're we're getting our third gas up, and by we I mean J Nun. I am not J Nun. He's got lurkers all over the map, but um, I want to see a tech to hive soon. He's got triple Evo chamber, so he's as soon as he notices that they're up, he's going to be able to get spines and melee and carapace up at the same time. Lurker going down uh, without even trying to burrow, just walking to forces. But here's a huge uh, zergling. Oh, all those zerglings are just getting destroyed by these cannons. Uh, this is the advantage of the cannon wall instead of the pylon wall, and he's getting his fourth base up. So, uh, I, I think just bit by bit, uh, J Nun's being decimated in this game. Semi's on four bases, J Nun's on three. Uh, he, there's a huge attack going here, there's an observer, I can't even see the observer. That observer could get scourged, and that would really turn the tide of the battle, but uh, otherwise, I think Semi's just gonna dominate through this. Uh, he's, uh, you'll notice he's built a lot of dragoons. Uh, because Dragoons do so well against Lurkers, and they do pretty well against Mutalisks. And that's pretty much where all we're seeing, and the Archons are there to deal with Zerglings. I think, uh, if Jnon was analyzing Semi's unit composition, he might try to build a lot more Hydralis. Uh, cause Hydralis, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if he's got any upgrades for the Hydralis, but Hydralis just rock against his unit combination, pretty much. Going for the, the, the 10 o'clock expansion, um, Look, look how good uh, one Archon goes down. I think this fort, this is going to be fended off, but not not before losing just a lot of units. Uh, there's still Observer making sure. And here comes the reinforcements. Uh, there's still the Observer there, uh, but just uh, two Zealots and two Dragoons probably aren't going to be able to do very much. Although the, the Lurkers are like all spread apart piecemeal. Um, I use piecemeal a lot, but... Um, the sunken colony going down, when a sunken colony goes from a creep into a sunken, when it finishes the morphing, it loses 100 HP to a minimum of 1. So it was, you might have noticed it was 50, out 50 and then it instantly died, and that, that's why. Uh, but once again, uh, Jnun just holding off the attack. Uh, there's two Archons, and plus two attack. I should be looking at upgrades, considering, um, air upgrades, no air upgrades, or no carapace. Air Carapace, I wouldn't be able to tell. I can't even find a unit. This is bad. Okay, Zergling's got 1-1. One, one. Um, when, when these Lurkers finish morphing. So, plus 1 Carapace, plus 1 Melee, and soon we'll figure out uh, plus what Spines. But I'm guessing plus 1 Spines. And plus 2 everything is probably morphing. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, wait. Uh, ah! Burrow! I <laughs> need to see the upgrades. Come on, guys. Alright, so here's a huge force of Dragoons, Archons, with a couple of self. I, I really don't think Jnon's reacting well enough to this unit composition. I think Hyd if he, he switched to Hydra's, if he got Hydra's upgrades, I think that'd be a great uh, boon for him. It'd, be, it'd pay off very quickly, because he could scout the unit composition just with, like, s Suicide Scourge, see what uh, Semi's got going on, and against Hydra, and against this kind of unit composition, Hydra's and against, and if he switches to a more high Templar heavy, more Zealot heavy uh, lurkers, 
and I, I think that would be uh, really good, And but he's not doing that. Um, but, you know, that that's a really advanced thing because it relies on constant scouting. Here we go. Yeah, plus one. So the... Oh, that must have been plus one just coming up. So Carapace and Melee are a little bit ahead. And <laughs> Semi's coming to kill the base, but there's no base at either of those places. Uh, he, 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 he knows he's, he's got five a fifth base going up, and he knows that he's like, okay, I'm either in a gigantic advantage or there's going to be a base here. So he's content to keep trying to kill these two bases and finding no bases there. He just knows he's a gigantic advantage. Oh my god, seven cannons. These Zerglings aren't going to be able to do squat. And what is this? A six base. What are you thinking? Be satisfied with Vibe. Even, even if semi or even if Janon took every other base on the map, you'd still be okay off of five bases. Because there's only one, two, three, four, five, six. There's only twelve bases on the map. A giant attack that I missed going down here. Um, but it looks to be just going in... Everything's going in Semi's favor because he's just macroing off so much more economy. Uh, this game's just slowly slipping from Jnun. It looks like he had a couple of Lurkers and a couple of Zerglings, but nothing to compare to this massive force that barely fits within a window. Um, and I think he could really push into the natural expansion, but what's stopping him? I guess he just expects there to be more there than there is, but uh, there's only a couple of Hydralis, uh which don't appear to be... Um, I don't know if they're range upgraded or anything like that. Um, but instead pushing it to the more fortified third base. Um, meanwhile, it looks like that base was forced to cancel. Uh, pushing into the third base, uh, but there's so many lurkers there, I think he'd be much better off. And it does not appear that there's an observer along with his army. He's trying to storm the lurkers, but that one missed. That was just a completely ineffective storm. I think he might have accidentally ki clicked on the sunken, but uh, retreating away from that. Uh, meanwhile... The, the sixth base is trying to go up again. Semi, don't get greedy. Don't He's wasted a lot of minerals trying to get this base up. Um, don't get greedy. It looks like this is going to be taken out. Um, those, that does not appear to be range upgraded. Or does it? I, 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 I'm, I'm unfamiliar. But uh, those are speed hydrolysis? Yeah. So, so he's got those. So it looks like he might be going for a tech switch. Um, but... I, it doesn't matter at this point right now, because Simi's just got, he's only got three bases, and this one's barely a base anymore. That's almost depleted. Yeah, gas, the, the main gas is almost been depleted, so he's going to be on 2.25 gases in about a minute, and in, in, a, in another, like, two minutes, he's going to only be on two bases worth of minerals. He's really, now the sixth base, I think, is, is really going to be established, and there's there's like no limit to what uh, Semi can do right now. He could go Carriers, he could go Arbiters, he could go Dark Archons and pretty much win. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's how many bases he's got. And meanwhile, I saw Stream of Zerglings going across the middle and that, that he's maxed out. A max Protoss army versus 90 side for the Zerg. There's a max Protoss army. Have, that's, that's there's no coming back against that, and I think Jainon is really uh, fighting for his team resolutely, but I think he's just been bit by bit outplayed in this game. Um, he was he a little overextended himself going for this base so early, and uh, with just a standard build, uh, a standard plus one timing attack, Zealot Archon timing attack, um, Semi was m managed, m like Semi managed to go in, kill it, and then he was at a huge advantage for the whole game. And now all Semi's just venturing out with little forces of Zerglings. Lurkers along with this one. But there's three observers, so not worrying about Scourge. Not having to worry about Scourge. And um, this is looking like GG for Semi. I'm, I'm sorry, GG for Jnun. Uh, as soon as he gets mined out, he's already mined out on a couple of patches. Uh, there's like 20 left on this one. Yeah, see, he's already mined out on one patch. And th this attack coming in, uh, one observer goes down, but there's still three left. And uh, as soon as this uh, this spore colony goes down, he can bring those observers in. Although it looks like he's in range to see, somehow. Uh, maybe he got observer sight range, but anyway, uh, there's just there's no defenses. All he has is stationary defenses, lurkers and sunkins. And they're going to go down, and then this base is going to go down. And I think that's going to be GG. Um... But uh, Jadon played J 
Jaden uh, showed a lot of Moxie staying in this game. Uh, he he eventually and here he GG. He he stayed in for a, a, a good amount of time and uh, he switched to Hydralis, not necessarily as I, as I said he did, but he really did try. Uh, he was sending those Zergling parties out to try to do harassment, and that that's what you do when you're behind. He really played smart from behind, but not smart enough. Sammy was just didn't slip up, didn't make any mistakes, and he just uh, held Jaden off and managed to win that game. So I'm going to be moving on to set two, guys. Thank you for watching, and GG.